His presence is vital, and the me up of my rival. He made that way I'm not tired. Defeated death revival. When talking Jesus, no thank you or pleases. His word is final, yeah. All things possible, but God leaving me impossible. My victory is probable. John 3.16, my gospel. so powerful like seeing what everyone has been like how God has worked in different people's lives throughout the year throughout the pandemic throughout everything that we've been going on and just for them to share that it's just been like, amazing to see and like, really blessing me and I'm sure anyone that goes over and checks it out um, so yeah get added so website ECFC UK English service you've got the blogs there's resources section as well yeah so there's prayer sessions seven tracks track for every day of the week <laughs> Versatility, confidence, mm -hmm. bars, mm -hmm. harmonization. Mm -hmm. AG is your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it was a new way to praise God that we weren't used to it. And it was fun to do at the same time. So if you guys didn't know, we have Bible study every Tuesday around like 7 o'clock. Um, we covered their books, to be fair. Like, it went on longer than we expected. We didn't think it for so long and I think personally for me like the way Bible study has helped me is like I've got to become closer to like people my age um, and we were able to teach each other from like ourselves so I was able to like see how God was working with other people's lives and how it can help me because um, it was a small group as well we were able to be like so transparent with each other which really helped um, a lot of us because we realised that we were all going through the same things or had like experienced the same things. Um, for me also, because um, I went, I just started uni, so we're talking about testimonies, personal ones. Um, obviously we were in COVID and stuff as well, so I wasn't able to really meet many Christians and like at, at uni a lot of people there are really like-minded, like you guys will find out. <laughs> but, um, uh, so having like, having Tuesday Bible study was literally like getting me through being alone in my accommodation, knowing that I could come back after a seminar or whatever, and I knew that these ones would be there, like on my screen, really helped me so much because obviously you get homesick. So it was really helpful. Um, but yeah, I think it was just I, I think it was just one of the most amazing things um, for me, and like it's been that step up in my faith that I know I wouldn't go back. Like I wouldn't go backwards from this point onwards. So it's. It's been so great for like my growth and stuff like that. So we're doing Bible study because we're all pretty much the same age and it's like us, we're teaching each other. We can, with like certain topics, you can be brutally honest and like, this is what you have to do. Like, this is what, because like, sometimes like, they may not, it may not be explained properly in like, the normal church. But when it's between like, kids your age and you know that they'll be properly honest and they'll be like, oh, you cannot do this because it says this in the Bible. And, this is the way you have to walk, uh, live the life if you want to live the life that Christ wants you to live. So, you definitely mature in a, in a sense that like you definitely become closer to God and obviously become closer to the people that you live. Even if you're struggling to read the word on your on your own, you can literally just read the book that we're reading in Bible study and do your own Bible stuff and come back with more knowledge and more more wisdom from God. Do you understand? So, if you're lacking, lacking that structure or maybe you feel like you're struggling to get to the word by yourself and you feel like you benefit from having a sort of structure, a weekly structure where you can talk to everyone about things that you've read and you can gain encouragement 
and accountability 100% each kind of Bible study. Normally we do worship together, so I feel like it made me a lot more comfortable by myself to like be in the spirit and just like enjoy the presence of God by myself without having to go to church mm. and like be with these people. Yeah. It was fun and good. There's like a total of like 68 videos, which is one of the year. But on top of that, there was like the prayer session videos as well. And like the announcements and I think it was like little active videos as well that I put separately. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then it was like 70 to 80. So that was all down to you guys. That's the last part. Um, so it must have been awkward, like recording 25 minutes. Some people did like six, eight, some people did like 50. I think I just did one long one. But um, yeah, anything that was fun, I learned new skills at the end of the day. So um, yeah, it's all down to you guys. I mean, that's the last nah. part. Nah. It was fun though, it was fun learning the new skill. Yeah. It was enjoyable to like prepare the teaching, go through it, because I felt like I learned more than. You can actually learn from the teachings. And yeah, it was very beneficial to me. Yeah, I think I kind of struggled with like what do I like come on the camera and say, like what do I say to people? But um, I think for me it was just like what is it that I'm learning in my in my own life right now that I thought that was very beneficial for me. Or when I'm reading or going through like a book in the Bible, um, what did I learn that I thought that would also so when it came from <clears throat> what I had like started reading, I think it was like I became more comfortable in terms of how like in terms of how I was speaking or what I would say. Um and yeah, that was really good. Uh, yeah, so discipleship similar to Bible study in the sense that it was like, like an extra thing where people come to interact over a Zoom call. Uh Bible study was on was on Tuesdays, discipleship was Sundays after the service is finished, typically one day. We did the Sabbath one and gave so much context as to why we as humans are in the situation in the first place. Like the Bible is not just a book telling you what to do, what to do. It's, it's a full-on story. Like things have happened since the beginning of creation that have led to our circumstances right now and we're needing for a savior. And I think the Sabbath one one really breaks that down perfectly. So if you are currently just believing in Jesus because you've been told to, because you've just always been doing it or you want to understand why you should choose a faith or why you're in the situation in the first place in terms of like a, a, a storyline of biblical events, the South Short one really gives you a good foundation and a background. Yeah, then after I started going to discipleship, I feel like it's very good for people who've just come, like just come to Christ. Because I started, because I think in lockdown is when I was like, I actually want to focus on Jesus, I want to get to know him. And then that's the kind of thing where, um, because it's such a nice community and like everybody gets on with everyone so you can just talk and yeah so it's good where you it's good for people who just started out on their journey because that's because that's what i think i did but i did enjoy making fun of your dizziest trends <laughs> 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 But I do agree with what's been said, like, it is good, because, like, during quarantine, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's good for, like, strengthening your relationship with God, I think, like, if you straight away, yeah. I think one thing that I take from the whole experience is that um, church is really about its people, um, and so the more people that got involved, it just became an experience that we all enjoyed because we made church what we sort of needed it to be, if that makes sense. Um, and so it was just a blessing to see everybody get involved <clears throat> and be obedient um, to God and obedient to what the church needed um, and for us to use our skills and our time and our effort um, all for one purpose was something that brought us all together and something that kept church going um, through, through the lockdown and it was just so happy, I'm so proud of every single person um, for, for everything that they've done. Um, yeah, man. And I ask the Lord that you bless everyone who spent so much of their time, Lord, to help each and every one of us grow in our walk and has dedicated a lot of their time out of university, out of work, out of sixth school to help others in their faith and in their walk with God. And I ask that people can continue to come and that people who haven't had the time can try and make an effect time, Lord. 
and that the sessions that we have from now on are meaningful and that they have an impact on each and every one of our lives and that we can all continue to be more confident in our faith and more confident. Would you say my prayer, my Lord? Yeah.